<laughs> it was an hour and 22 minutes and every single piece of it is useful. The highlighting her childhood really impacted the whole documentary. It to be did. Honest. It just, both of us cried. I'ma tell them. Shoot, both of us cry. Hey, hey, hey y'all, it's Summer Christiana and welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you for tuning in. My name is Summer Christiana and on my channel, we discuss current events and pop culture in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, today I have a guest. Guest, go ahead and introduce yourself. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm Aggie, also known as MB Doctor. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I'm here with my best friend, Summer Christiana, to give y'all the details about what's going on today. All right, now we're gonna get into this Mary J. Blige documentary, My Life, My Life, My Life, My Life in the Sunshine. All right, so tune in and stay tuned. All right, so let me give y'all a little rundown of what happened in it. I'm gonna let you know right now, spoiler alert. So if you haven't seen it, don't even watch this video, okay? Cause we gonna be showing clips and everything. But let me give you all a rundown. So first Mary talked about the trials and tribulations that she went through while making her album, My Life. Um, she said that she made 13 albums and My Life was her most favorite and most emotional one that she had. So it was a whole bunch of different stars in the movies. Like uh, who was in it? Taraji. It made it okay for people to say it's all right to be me. Did he? Nobody sounds like her. When Mary sang, I heard the pain of a generation. I, I like that they made it personal too. Her sister was in it. Um, who else? Method Man, uh, Nas, and Alicia Keys. We still don't get to see that a lot, you know? Tyler Perry was in it, y'all. And they came in and they said like, they gave personal stories and stuff like that. I really enjoyed it. Um, so first it started off with the history of Mary and her childhood. In the neighborhood we lived in, it's like prison. There was a lot wrong and there was a lot I needed to get out. Just hearing her speak about her childhood and the trauma that she went through, a lot of black women, and we don't talk about this enough, like a lot of black women go through a lot and we're expected to just be so strong and carry on and move forward, but we don't talk about our trauma enough. Um, and I think that Mary really highlighting her childhood really impacted the whole documentary. It did. Honest. And I really thought they were just gonna talk about like my life, the album, and not go past that. But I like how they first started off with her childhood and like getting to know her. It wasn't just a, about my life. It was literally about, it wasn't just about my life, the album. It was about her life, period. And that's what made it like more impactful. And she did touch on like um, black women and empowerment and going through the struggles and everything. One thing that shocked me was that she opened up about how she got molested when she was younger. Um, she didn't go into too much detail about it, but she did touch on it a little bit and how it impacted her. She talked about um, her and Casey from, um, what was the, yeah, from uh, that relationship. I didn't even know that she had a relationship with them. Did you know that? I did. You did? Okay. Mm -hmm. See, I ain't know none of that. But she showed how they started off good and then it ended up going downhill because both of them were famous and drugs, yeah. um, domestic abuse. I think even her highlighting her neighborhood and the neighborhood that she came um, up in, like your environment is actually really impactful on how you like develop and grow. And her saying like, I didn't come from a nice city. I came from Yonkers. Um, I didn't see women being respected. I didn't see black women being respected. Um, when you're like a young black girl, you just don't make it. Like her her dreams weren't really expected to be dreams, to be honest. She didn't really have dreams, right. actually. And she even said like growing up where she was from, that stuff was snatched away from her. And I noticed that when, I can't remember his name, but it was her writer that helped her with my life. He said when he first met Mary, um, he came in and he was like, we gonna drop this dope album and telling her what to expect while working with him. And she was like, hmm, yeah, okay. So like more so, let me see what you talking about. Like you ain't finna feed me no dream. I did like that. Yeah. And um, just how she carried herself, it showed her stylist and how she came up. Like literally 10 out of 10 recommend. 
10 out of 10. <laughs> the thing I think that kept us guided was the music. My whole world's upside down. It just saved you. Really, everything that she talked about and the personal stories, that's when she was holding back her tears. And y'all have to remember that 25 years ago is when my life was made. So that's crazy for her to overcome what she came through and still emotionally talking about it and sharing personal stories and crying, like holding back tears. It just, both of us cried. Both of us cried. We wasn't boohoo crying, <laughs> but we shed some tears. It just hit a nerve, to be honest. Like, we're 22 and the fact that my life even hearing that it was 25 years ago that's crazy because we listen to my life like <laughs> <laughs> like my life really i'll say like personally my life has really saved me from a lot of situations mm. and like just understanding my self-worth and being confident but also addressing the things that i have went through and my trauma and just to see her and i told you this just to see her still crying when right. she talks about my life it's like it's okay for me to cry about things that have happened three or four years ago that it's okay because that's your pain that's a part of your story and my life is literally her story right. so that that just really helped me like understand like wow I look up to that whole album because it saved me, it helped me. And the fact that she was open to, like she just still cries about it, it just was like, wow, okay. I can still cry, because I'm very down on myself when it comes to things that I've been through. It's okay to still cry. I've overcome it, shout out to my life again. <laughs> but I've overcome it and it's okay if, it, if, if certain things like, hit a nerve or anything mary j really helped me understand that last night last night bro mm. i watched it twice like <laughs> it was an hour and 22 minutes and every single piece of it is useful it's not no piece where you like dang this a little boy it wasn't like that like it was real good y'all so i'm gonna drop a couple clips y'all go ahead leave me some um comments below let me know what you think did you watch it did you not watch it do you plan on watching it oh and the platform that we watched it on is fire stick so i have to tell y'all that that uh prime video so maggie thank you for coming in and talking to my viewers with me i really appreciate it hey. <laughs> where can they find you at uh y'all can follow me on instagram and twitter at mb doctrine again that's m as in maggie b <laughs> Doctrine on Twitter and Instagram. All one word? All one word. No All spaces. Right. <laughs> and y'all already know, follow me at Summer Christiana. And summer's only one season, but stick with me where it's summer year round. I'll see you for the next video. I like that. <laughs>